My second floor of steel production is doing well, but we're pretty limited by the amount of steel components we can create, so it's time for an upgrade. Just as an overview of what we've got right now, we have the coal and the iron feeding these three foundries with an intricate network of conveyor belts, which are supposed to be able to split those two production lines evenly into the three, but I don't know if it's going to work well because these aren't at capacity yet, so we've got these three foundries producing the steel ingots over into some storage containers just to prevent buildups and then just these two constructors here one of them is producing steel pipes and the one over there is producing steel beams that's what it is <laughs> so we're gonna head back to the hub past this again another ridiculous network of conveyor belts and I don't even bother trying to figure out where these go because I kinda forgot at this point <laughs> there's some method to this madness I believe they're trying to move around to funnel this awesome resource sink with some excess resources from those two production lines, the copper production line and then the limestone production line. But we really just need to go to the hub over here, feed in what we've got right now so that we can move on to advanced steel production and gain access to some additional components for production. So with this new one, we're also going to be getting the Miner Mark II, which is going to allow us to pull resources from the ground a bit quicker. We don't really need to use that yet because I haven't even need, felt the need to overclock those. The real important stuff is here, the new things that we can create. Now we can create these by hand, but obviously we're going to want to make assembly lines for all this because that's the whole point of the game and we need to make them quicker. And the first thing, encased industrial beams, we're going to be using some steel beams, which you saw being produced up top on the second floor. But we're also going to be needing to add concrete into that second floor, I suppose. We're going to need to then make some conveyor belts, feeding that second floor with concrete to link up with that existing line of steel beam production. So this is going to be an assembler because it needs to take these two things and put them together. So we'll have the encased industrial beams being produced on the second floor. Heavy modular frames. Now this has a building component of the modular frame, which currently is the most advanced thing that I can create. So that is the most advanced thing on the bottom of the first floor. It's a pretty long assembly line already. We're going to need to add in steel pipes from the second floor. In case, no, oh no, <laughs> industrial beams <laughs> from the second floor. So we're adding in the concrete there. I'm just trying to figure out where these things are going to go in my mind. It is not working. And then we're also going to need screws. Oh, I don't know how I'm going to get them over to wherever this assembler is going to end up being. Wait a second. One, two, three, four. I don't know how to create this with four things. Maybe this is can only be done by hand because we don't have a four input constructor. Unless I can split conveyor. I don't know. I don't really know how this is going to work. We'll maybe table that for now. Uh, some of the other things that we can create are the stator, which is the steel pipe and the copper. That one's pretty straightforward. Won't be too hard to get that one. Just need to add copper into that second floor and then uh, add in the steel pipes that are existing. So two assemblers on the second floor we're going to need. And then finally, the motor was going to take the rotors from the first floor and add in the stators, which are going to be produced on the second floor. So we're just going to need to kind of backpedal with some conveyor belts. So I really don't know what's going to go on with these heavy modular frames. I need four inputs on this. And I don't even know if that's possible with an assembler. Let's take a quick look. I can probably just pop one down. There's really no <laughs> open space here, is there? There we go. So show me what you can make. Yeah, modular frame. Oh, what? Is, what? <laughs> All right, I'm ignoring this stuff for now. Uh, modular frame. Yeah. So we just have to produce those by hand for now. Okay, that makes me feel a little bit better. But still going to need to figure out how to do a lot of the logistics here. Considering we're going to need to add concrete and copper into that main building. These two assembly lines here have been pretty good just on their own. But now since everything's going to have to kind of cooperate, I guess I can get rid of this thing. Because we're going to need to feed whatever it's supplying into the main factory. So let's go ahead and uh, get to it and hope this doesn't turn into an awful mess.
It appears that everything is running as intended, which is kind of surprising, although there's a lot less complexity considering I didn't have to add in anything for the heavy modular frames. So right now we're looking at the motor production for the final assembler using the rotors and the stators. I'll walk you through what we did going from the most complex down to the simpler components. So over here we have the motors, which is potentially the most advanced thing that I have currently automated the production of. It is being, this assembler is being fed by the... I forget what these are called, the <laughs> rotors. Uh, everything's got crazy names. Rotor to motor from stator and blah, 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 everything. Okay, we're going to have to color code this like we did down on the first floor, which should make things a little bit easier to follow. But, okay, we've got rotors and stators. Going into this to make motors, this rotor production is coming from the first floor where we have this assembler from the just just say iron stuff. Iron stuff making these <laughs> rotors going back up to the top floor and producing that. Now production is pretty quick right now because we had a backlog of these. I imagine that will slow down uh, pretty rapidly once those are depleted. So these sections here, one of the components for the motors, the stators, being created from the wire and the steel pipes. The wire is coming from over there, my copper facility, which is out in the open, but it hasn't rained yet, so <laughs> we don't have to worry about too much <laughs> of the elements getting in the way of stuff. Uh, these copper wires are flowing into their assembler, and uh, yeah, just kind of explain that so you know what's going on there. But then the second one is the concrete flowing into this other assembler, along with the steel beams from this side of the steel production, which is giving us some of the, yeah, steel beams. And we are getting just encased industrial beams here, which are not flowing into anything because I don't think that currently I can automate the production of the heavy modular frames because we don't even have a recipe for that in this assembler. So we might need like an assembler Mark II, something with four inputs, or maybe we just can't make this uh, with a machine. I'm not sure. Um, I'm going to have to keep on progressing, keep on researching, and find out everything that we need to unlock, which is probably going to involve some more offering to my space gods uh, via the space elevator. Uh, so more advanced stuff there. But since I've got pretty much everything I need right now, I've got a lot of stuff here, uh, motors, rotors, stators, I'm going to try and make some of the heavy modular frames by hand. And if I recall, those require some of these encased industrial beams. Let's grab, oh, we got a stack already. <laughs> nice to have these storage containers so that we don't have too much of a buildup in areas where there is uh, too much production for the requirements down below. So we also need what? We need some screws, which is unusual because that's such an early material to go into the final production of like a later thing. We need some of the modular frames. These have been coming out extremely slowly because I need to reorganize my iron rod production and reinforced iron plates as well. And um, it's just a result of, you know, the, the reinforced iron plates being a pretty complex material, um, then having to feed this one. So it's just, um, we're going to have to overclock this and uh, it's, it's, the whole reorganization is going to be necessary. So what else did I need there? Um, I've got the screws, I've got the modular frames, encased industrial beam, and I need steel pipes. So that brings up another issue, is that's navigating around this facility. I've got some stairs and a launch pad over on the side where uh, the raw materials go in, but nothing over here. This is working very nicely to get me from one floor to the next. And uh, steel pipe, steel pipe, steel pipe, 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 pipe. Here they are. A lot of them, okay pretty good. Let's head over here and I'm going to try and use this awesome sink to find the value of some of these things because we know right now that one of these, let's just get one, one of these modu heavy modular frames is going to give us, if I can get in there quickly, what percent of a coupon? Wait a second, one percent? I thought it was way more. Has my requirements gone up? I don't know. Let, let's just say 1% of a coupon. Huh, that's kind of crazy. Um, but we can go into the heavy modular frames and we can make five of these. It takes a long time just to hammer this by hand. Let's make, uh, all right, we got three. 
and we will toss those in here. I don't even know what any of these things are going to be used for, which is kind of the scary part, but we've got some production automated now. So whatever is coming, we are ready for it. So heavy modular frame coming in here. I should be counting with coupons, but those are big numbers. So 1% to... Oh my god! <laughs> Wait a second, was there something wrong? 1% <laughs> to uh, 40... What was it before? 6%? So 46%? I must have done something wrong. We gotta test these again. And you can see my stack splitting skills are, are pretty awful. Hop in there. Okay, here it comes. So 52%. To oh yeah, one percent, huh? Well, the heavy modular frames are pretty huge for the coupons, but as far as what they're for, I am still not sure. So unfortunately, there is no exciting climax to this video, like making something awesome, uh, like a car or anything. But if we do at some point get the ability to make a car, we have a lot of the components that we're going to need. So thank you guys for watching this one. We've got steel production going well. I guess all that we can really look at right now is let's go look at some of the motors. <laughs> we don't really have them showing up on any assembly line or anything but uh, it's nice to have those being made. I probably should have tested the value of those too but eh, we're already over here. So again, steel production is at a good point. Uh, this is advanced steel production. I don't know if there's a an expert steel production or an ultra advanced steel production but there's definitely more components and complicated stuff to come but right now we've got a good start so advanced steel production thank you guys for watching see you in the next one